If I had a nickel for every time someone promised to reinvent the smartphone, I'd have like 85 cents by now. Granted, Essential isn't just another anonymous startup. The man in the captain's chair is Andy Rubin. He's one of the creators of The Sidekick, basically a Blackberry for young people that became an underground hit in the mid-aughts. Oh, and he co-founded a company called Android Incorporated, which wanted to write software for digital cameras, but instead ended up being bought by Google and then blowing up the smartphone world. Today, about four out of five smartphones run Android, and the operating system is on over two billion devices worldwide. Meanwhile, BlackBerry, Nokia, and Microsoft, the dominant forces in mobile when Android launched, are now not that at all. So it makes sense that we're all excited by the launch of the Essential Phone, a new handheld that promises a blend of thoughtful craftsmanship and mindful software. Instead of glass and aluminum, the Essential Phone will be made of ceramic and a new injection-molded titanium that should make it more resistant to drops. It'll feature a near bezel-less design that maximizes screen real estate in a small chassis. The published dimensions put it somewhere between the HTC 10 and Galaxy S7, each of which is quite easy to handle one-handed. It'll come compatible with snap-on magnetic accessories, too. To start with, a power dock and a 360 camera that looks positively tiny compared to what's out there right now. When you don't need a fishbowl photograph, the onboard cameras seem plenty capable, judging by the spec sheet. And that same sheet also bears most of the touchstones of a terrific 2017 smartphone. To flesh out the essential ecosystem, alongside the phone launch comes a new virtual assistant for the living room. It's trying to come across as less invasive than Alexa and Google Home by keeping more of its data local and sending less of it to the cloud. But as I read through all the breathless praise surrounding the announcement, it strikes me that not only have we heard a lot of these promises before, we've seen a lot of these features before, too. Xiaomi brought us both minimal bezels and a ceramic body in the Mi Mix without the weird widow's peak cutout that the essential phone needs for its front-facing camera. Motorola's Moto Z lets you snap on everything from battery packs to speaker docks to crazy cameras using a similar magnetic system. Google's Pixel phones bring streamlined and super responsive Android builds without bloatware or exaggerated branding. And speaking of the Pixel, remember how I was put off by its lack of water resistance given its high price point? Well, Essential doesn't get a pass here either. It's expensive and it's not water resistant. And while the lack of a headphone jack doesn't bother me much, I'm a Bluetooth guy, it does seem an odd compromise on a device plainly big enough to include one. See also, HTCU. Look, this is in no way a review. I haven't even touched the product yet. In fact, I really want Essential to succeed. That'll be obvious to you if you've watched me for a while. You know how much I appreciate both novelty and meaningful innovation, both of which are sorely needed in today's mobile space. Ruben's mission statement seems to acknowledge that, in a way that almost reads like he's seeking absolution. He wants to use Essential to cure the headaches he says platforms like Android have caused. The built-in obsolescence of phones, the UI problems, the closed ecosystems. But I'm not convinced most people want to be cured of their consumerism. Their annual trips to the phone store for the shiny new thing. I, mean, I know I don't. And while the talent in Essential's roster is enormous, I think we all need to take a cue from that famous financial aphorism. Past performance is not indicative of future results. So while we should all be eager to see what it can do, there's a ways to go before we'll know whether it lives up to its aspirational name. To see the Essential Phone review when it does come out, make sure you're subscribed to The Mr. Mobile on YouTube and let me know what you think about Essential in the comments below. Till next time, thanks for watching, and stay mobile, my friends.